here with a star um, in lieu of flowers, Josh Pence, who plays Eric. Eric in this movie is kind of going through a lot of different things. I mean, he's grieving loss, but he's also trying to figure out who he is and what he's meant to do. Working with Bill was fantastic. Bill's a writer director. He, you know, he's has a lot of experience directing theater. Um, so, you know, it was really fun because we got to rehearse quite a bit and, and work some things out in advance. And it's hard when you're shooting a movie on, I mean, this is a 21 day schedule, 18 days on, three off, six day a week. So you're kind of just going all the time. We have Bill Savage here, we have Spencer Grammer, and the amazing Josh Benz. And we really wanted to talk about your film because this is a very special night for you guys. You are opening up the festival with this film. Yeah. So are you guys super excited? Yeah. yeah. Very I just kind of gone through a loss and got me thinking about just kind of how we experience loss in, in all capacities. I really related to my character Rachel who had suffered this great loss in her life and, and it's not necessarily how you've had to cope with it but how the people around you change how they treat you and becoming a parent is kind of one of those things as well. Like You step away from that group of friends you used to know who, who you just no longer understand each other in a certain way and I kind of sort of went through that while I was doing this movie. Hi, we are here with Elizabeth Hemmerdinger, the very talented writer and producer of The Good Sister. And tonight is your premiere, and we are super excited to have you, so thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for having us, really. Absolutely. I'm delighted. I always want to work with Jessica Hecht, yeah. and uh, she was in my mind when I wrote this, and we were lucky enough to get her and Grant showed to be in it. It's based on a short play of mine, a monologue. So fantastic, fun to know, uh, you're the writer. Yes. Okay, so uh, I love to know these things, I'm a filmmaker myself, where the story comes from? Impulse for the story was playing with the fact that I was an only child and had some kind of weird experiences in my life and wanted to uh, alchemize them into something amusing. Playful. And I love Hitchcock. Tell us about this, um, any trials and tribulations with the duct tape scene, because um, I, I am an actor myself, and I know sometimes things don't go as planned. You know, I just I had my my little nephew with me was on the set that day, and and um, he really didn't understand what was going on, and didn't understand why it was taking so long. <laughs> he just kept asking me when we were going to go, you know, and why we were doing the same thing over and over again. So, yes. but you know, it all fits together. Absolutely, yeah, it does. Yeah. I'm going to ask this is my favorite question. Where did this come from? I just was thinking often um, about uh, kind of the different types of loss, different types of loss that we go through, and um, how they're similar and how they're different. And that sounds very, uh, you know, lofty and ethereal. But that's sort of, that was sort of the, the genesis of this, um, which is from a particularly difficult time uh, for me, which is now long in the past, but um, and just this idea of these two people kind of connecting uh, over this. Um, coming in from two different ways, and kind of how they experience it in the same way and experience it in different ways, and that was sort of the beginning of it. I wonder when you wrote the script, was the comedy in the script, or did that come out more from the direction on the set and the interpretation between the actors? Well, it definitely was, I think, executed very well by the actors, which are including you know, a, a number of our casters here and some other casters who aren't here, for sure. I mean, you can write a really funny bit and the actor doesn't do it well, it doesn't really matter. So we, you know, we're very lucky with people executing that. But yeah, it's, it's always been an element in the script. I mean, I, you know, you were talking about not hammering people over the head with, you know, the grief. And I think that nobody wants to watch people solve for many minutes. Um, so that was always important. And I think that it's pretty accurate to even when I was giving me that really hard time when I first wrote it, it was like, you take every chance you can to, to laugh at something because it's just, you, you know, you need that release. You need to stop being sad for, you know, a, a few moments. And, and yeah, I just, I don't really, I don't really have much interest in people following for that long. I mean, you need to earn, you know, you need to earn those emotional moments. Um, and the best way to do that is to not take yourself so seriously the entire time. Let's give him one last round of applause.